So, the key thing to know about the Ubuntu phone is that uh, what we're trying to do with Ubuntu is we're trying to build this convergent strategy. The idea is one operating system that can essentially run multiple devices. So you can have Ubuntu powering your TV, Ubuntu powering your desktop or your phone, and we've been working on this throughout the last sort of six or seven years. So we started out with Ubuntu desktop, we then moved to the cloud, and the TV, and this is obviously the next piece of that. So the first thing to know about this is that we have this welcome screen. This is not a lock screen. So the idea is that this is an artist's rendering of a view in your, in your life. So it shows you how many tweets you've received, how many missed calls you've had, text messages, things like that. So the idea is that it's this kind of, it doesn't, it's not this unnatural kind of gate between you and your content. Um, the, the design strategy of the phone is that we use each of the each of the four edges. So from the from the left side, you can see the launcher. I don't know if you've seen the Ubuntu desktop before. Yeah. So this this will look very familiar. Um, so this is your your favorite applications and how to use it. and you can obviously access those applications from there. So um, you can click on this button at the bottom, and then this takes you to the home. So on the desktop, we have um, we have the dash with the different lenses and everything else. And this is a, a similar concept for the phone. So for example, we've got, this is, this is your home screen, so you can see the frequently used apps that we're using, any missed calls, new film releases. This aggregates content that you own, as well as content that's available on the internet. And then of course you can spin to the right. There's our running applications here, frequently used apps, and then you can also access apps for download here, so you don't have to go through a, an app store. Um, we have, in a similar vein, we have the videos. Uh, we have the videos lens here. So this is videos <laughs> from you take the camera, uh, featured videos, and then I'll spin back here. This is the people view. So this aggregates together your social networks as well. So this shows messages from Facebook, Twitter, and everything else. Sort of like Windows Phone. Yeah, very similar. So for example, um, one of the things as well that we've really worked on with Ubuntu is is tight integration of web apps. Um, so applications for, for the Ubuntu phone can either be web apps that integrate neatly into the platform as well as um, uh, native apps. So as an example, if we click on Florian, you can see we've got the status from Facebook that's integrated. And then we could go there, we could leave a comment over it. Um, likewise, likewise, if I go to the gallery, so this is... This is, a, this is a native application, this is written in QML. Um, so you can write applications for the phone using HTML5 or, or QML. So obviously we can see, this is a much richer application, and you can, this is essentially how we can browse pictures on the phone. And then, for example, we can click on a picture. The bottom edge is for accessing buttons that are part of the application, so we can, so we can sorry. <laughs> so we can, uh, so we can, push upwards and then we can see each of the buttons that relate to the specific application. So, because the idea here is that we shouldn't need to have any physical buttons on the phone. Um, so for example, we could click share here, and you can share it with Facebook as an example. Um, what's interesting as well is typically with, um, you know, with Android phones or with, with iOS, you have to, if you want to configure your phone, you have to jump into a separate settings interface, whereas with the Ubuntu phone, you can just pull down the indicators at the top, loop left and right, and you can access them right there from the top edge. So for example, we could say, there's the battery, or there's the networks, um, and that's how, we, that's how we configure the different aspects of the phone. And then the, the, the fourth edge here, this is for, uh, we wanted to make multitasking really easy on the phone, because it's a real pain on Android as an example. So if you swipe from the right, then this allows you to, it's kind of like the equivalent of one tab. You can flip through, you can flip through the different applications that are open. And obviously, go back to the, uh, go back to the home screen. That's basically how it works.